my name is Walter Unglob, and this is Physics of a Wet Cooling Tower. So a wet cooling tower, this is a typical uh, figure for such a cooling tower, which is used for different types of power plants, operates on the principle of evaporative cooling. Evaporative cooling is a process in which you have, for this cooling tower, a working fluid, and it'll be the same as the evaporative fluid. And usually water is used. And in order for the cooling to take place, we need to come up with a measure uh, for potential for the cooling. And that, that measure is often denoted as a simple gradient in the temperature. So we have two different types of temperatures. We have the temperature of the material that we're cooling. We call that the wet bulb temperature. And we have the temperature of the air or the surrounding environment in general. And this is known as the dry bulb temperature. So if we just look at the difference of temperatures, this can be viewed as a potential for cooling to occur. And if this difference is non-zero, then a cooling effect will occur. And this is known as evaporative cooling. And this is the mechanism that drives the physics of wet cooling towers. My name is Walter Unglob, and this is Physics of Wet Cooling Towers.